The president is essentially burning down the House on his way out the door, shaking up Pentagon leadership in his final two months in office and installing loyalists in top positions there. Defense officials tell CNN his moves are dictator-like, crazy, and scary. But beyond the headlines, here's part of the reason that they feel that way. Just take a look at some of the new blood here. Retired Brigadier General Anthony Tata, his nomination to the Pentagon failed after CNN's K-File reported on past Islamophobic and other offensive comments that he had made. Lawmakers in both parties opposed him. Tata called Islam, quote, the most oppressive violent religion. He called President Obama a Muslim and also a Manchurian candidate and a terrorist leader. He called Speaker Nancy Pelosi, as well as Congresswoman Maxine Waters, violent extremists. And then look at this, Tata telling former CIA Director John Brennan to quote, pick your poison, firing squad, public hanging, life sentence as prison B word, or just suck on your pistol. This man is now the Pentagon's new acting top policy official. Another appointee is a controversial retired Army colonel named Douglas McGregor. He, too, also has a history of xenophobic and racist comments, notably about immigrants and refugees. And he, too, saw his nomination to be ambassador to Germany fail. In one interview, he said this about Mexicans when talking about cartels. The most serious threat to the United States and American society today is the criminality in Mexico the drug cartels, and the human trafficking that is driving millions of Mexicans with no education, no skills, and the wrong culture into the United States, placing them uh, essentially as wards of the American people. McGregor also advocated for martial law at the border to shoot people if necessary. In a separate interview in 2014, he said that Eastern Ukrainians are Russians on Russian state TV when Russia tried to annex Crimea, which led to a war. This, of course, of course, was not and is not the position of the United States. In another shift, the president moving a National Security Council official to the NSA as legal counsel, which now puts him at the center of a declassification dispute over Russia investigation documents. His name is Michael Ellis. He served as the White House's top national security lawyer. The problem is he has very little intelligence experience. Ellis has been at the forefront of many controversies, though, including overruling officials over classified information in John Bolton's book. He also became infamous for his alleged involvement in providing information to California Congressman Devin Nunes, who at the time was the head of the House Intelligence Committee. That information showed that members of the president's team were included in foreign surveillance reports. Another appointee tied to Nunes is also now in a senior role. That is Ezra Cohen Watnick, who was accused of working with Ellis to provide documents to Nunes. And another appointment is a former aide of Nunes's, Kosh Patel, now chief of staff to the new acting defense secretary. And according to a House impeachment inquiry, there was evidence that connected Patel to the diplomatic back channel that involved Rudy Giuliani, part of that effort to spread conspiracies about Biden and convince Ukraine to investigate the president's rival as the U.S. held up military aid to Ukraine.